Hey, quick video. I have an HP Pavilion A6000 series. This is an A6244N. It's one of many that shared this case and applicable design and motherboard as well. And uh, I'm giving it to somebody. It has a Core 2 Duo E4500 at 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, three and a half gigs of RAM, an 80 gig hard drive, because they don't really need more than that for what it's going to be used for, for the moment, until an appropriate upgrade can be purchased by themselves. Uh, it's going to first be used to flash an ECU for an 85.5 uh, GTI Mark II. Something, 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 old motor, uh decided to seize up and long story short uh, the 98 motor is going in it and that's all I know about it <sighs> I'm really tired I was up all night uh, taking care of this because the old ass piece of shit computer that he had beforehand which was an e-machines T2060 or something I think the model number was it really doesn't matter it's a piece of shit e-machines has a busted cap inside, Athlon XP, uh, 2.1 gigahertz, gig and a half of RAM. Uh, actually, I sold the hard drive from that for this, and it's running nice and fast, no complaints. I'm not going to turn this on, I'm just doing a quick video to show that I did this and all that stuff. I'm not going to open up the side cover, there is nothing special about this, just that I installed a new hard drive and popped in some RAM no big deal. Everything else is pretty much otherwise untouched. Um, new thermal compound on the heatsink, of course. The Core 2 stays really cold. Um, oh yeah, and a new ex exhaust fan. That's what the other thing was. Uh, aside from that... Oh! 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 And the power supply got switched up, too, from the best tech... Blah, best tech piece of shit to a new... Uh, actually, no, it's not new, but it's like 10 years old, and it served me well. Uh, 350-watt Antec SL350. It came with uh, a case that I got back about five years ago for five bucks. Why not? So, that is that. It is done. I am tired as hell. I'm going to go drop this off now, and then promptly go over to my grandma's, and probably... Uh, crash on the bed, because I need some sleep. I really need some sleep. Oh, and before I forget, I got my Wise Wind Term running again. I replaced uh, the, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6.3, 1500 uh, microfarad caps that need to be replaced, and I replaced those with uh, Rubicon HMZ. I think is the the model of those caps. Um, I replaced them with 6.3-1800 uh, microfarad and it seems to have had some sort of an effect because the CPU is not running as hot anymore. The only things that are running the same temperature as they were are the north bridge and the south bridge alongside the dual port land card over here which you're not going to be able to see because I'm using my V1 to make this video just for uh, testing purposes there we go I have uh, one and two it's a dual port uh, I think it's an SMC based yeah it's an SMC branded card but the onboard chipsets are all uh, DEC 211.52 faster net chips and uh, under Linux, those use the Tulip uh, kernel module. So, what I'm going to be doing today, after I take a nap, is I'm going to SSH into this thing. I'm going to do a full system upgrade. Oops, sorry there. I'm going to do a full system upgrade to um, Wheezy. And from there, I'm going to uh, see if I can't get uh, uh, my friend to SSH in and work his magic in making, like the most slimmed down kernel ever because I can compile a kernel and stuff but 
he can just do it so much better, and he kind of owes me a favor. So, that's that, I guess. I'll make an, an actual better video on this thing in a little while, but for now, I think I've overstayed my five minutes. So, thank you very much, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Or not.